Good evening. And this meeting is being recorded. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Good evening and welcome to the Tuesday, January 25th, 2022 meeting of the Ashland Zoning Board of Appeals. In accordance with the requirements of the open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting is being recorded uh, by um, Emma Snellings on uh, Zoom and will be posted uh, on the WACA uh, YouTube site, I believe. Uh, the town of Ashland in response to the COVID-19 coronavirus is currently following the guidance from the Ashland Board of Health, Massachusetts Department of Public Health and the CDC regarding the virus and steps communities can take to prevent the spread. In accordance with the governor's order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general laws, chapter 30A, section 20, all public meetings are being conducted remotely. To participate remotely from a computer, please use the link uh, that is listed in the uh, agenda for this meeting or from a telephone, you may dial a telephone number also listed in the uh, agenda. And meeting, Materials may be viewed at the town hall during enormous business hours or at the town uh, website. Uh, first order of business is to call the meeting to order. I, John Trefetham, am present. I, Brian Forrestal, am present. I, Stuart Siegel, am present. And we are also joined, obviously, by our assistant town planner, Emma Snelling. Uh, first order of business on the agenda this evening is a continued public hearing on a special permit request for 14 <laughs> Bartlett Road. Uh, the matter was on on our meeting on January 11th. Uh, the hearing was opened and continued until today. I'll, I'll briefly read the uh, notice that was published in the uh, Metro West Daily News. It reads as follows. The Ashland Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, January 11th, 2022 at 7 p.m. via a Zoom video conference meeting accessed via the Zoom link to hear the petition of Adam and Julie Babola requesting a special permit for Chapter 40A, Section 10 of the Massachusetts Zoning Act in Chapter 282, Sections 3.3, parenthesis, non-conforming uses and structures, close parenthesis, and 9.3, parenthesis, special permits, close parenthesis, of the Ashland bylaws to allow for the construction of an addition on a pre-existing non-conforming structure, which encroaches on the northerly side yard setbacks and front yard setback. The application is applying to build the applicant is applying to build a second story addition on current single story ranch style home. The property in question is located at 14 Bartlett Road, Assessors Map 24, Lot 107 in the Residential A Zoning District and parties wishing to be heard on this matter should appear at the time and place indicated above. And then there is a reference to where parties, uh, people can find the uh, various uh, filings that have been filed with the uh, planning department. Uh, as indicated, the hearing was opened last week. Uh, we heard um, the applicant's presentation from Mr. and Mrs. Babola. Uh, the uh, board had an opportunity to ask questions. Uh, the matter was open to the public for public comment. Uh, public comment was closed and um, the board then discussed uh, the matter and continued it to this evening, uh, having instructed our assistant town planner, Emma, to um, draft a uh, decision uh, consistent with the uh, discussion that the board uh, had. Uh, and that being said, um, members of the board, Brian and Stu, um, any further discussion before we move to close the hearing? I don't need any. I sent some comments to Emma on her draft. 
Okay. Well, I was going to say we can do we can deal with that when we close the hearing and enter into deliberations. How would that be? Um, okay. If not, is there a motion to close the hearing? I move we close the hearing. And is there a I second? second I second that motion. Okay. I, John Trefethen, vote in favor of closing the hearing. I, Brian Forrestal, vote in favor of closing the hearing. I, Stuart Siegel, vote in favor of closing the hearing. Okay. Okay, now entering into deliberations, um, Emma did send out a draft decision to um, to all of us at the uh, towards the uh, end of last week. Uh, Emma Stu mentioned that he had sent some uh, comments in to you. Would you be kind enough to uh, review them so we all know what um, what potential changes there may be in the draft? I'd be happy to. I'm going to share my screen to show the decision just so you can see um, where it is. <clears throat> okay, so here we are at the beginning. Um, I, since the public comment that was received was a clarifying question and not a comment for or against the project, uh, I changed uh, in the facts and the evidence to just re to read that the board uh, received public comment on January 11th, 2022, and we'll leave the substance of the question to uh, the minutes instead of addressing it in the um, evidence. Um, and, and then Stu raised the point that um, in the description of the nonconformity, uh, where the structure encroaches on the front and side yard setbacks, um, it's described as encroaching on those setbacks. However, the addition is within the footprint. And so the proposed addition is not encroaching more. Um, and so the, let's see. I, I understand. Yeah, the language could be, uh, could be seen as the um, that the addition is encroaching on the yeah. front and side yard setback as opposed to the existing structure. Pre existing non conformity is that okay? So, yeah, is and that when we wrote the legal ad, it was describing that the existing structure was encroaching, but right. this, this uh, might lead someone to believe that the addition will be encroaching more than the structure. Right. So the, the proposed change is to cross out pre-existing what's highlighted in yellow? Um, no, I was, sorry, I was just highlighting kind of where the issue was. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm open to how exactly uh, we should word this section. I do think we need to describe the nonconformity because that is why they are here, um, but separating it from the addition um, you know, maybe we could say a special permit to construct an addition within the footprint of a pre-existing non-conforming structure. But again, I, I want to throw it to the yeah. board and I'm open to, uh, how okay. we um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I was, I was trying to make the point that the original setbacks remain unchanged. Not uh, understandable. Yeah. Um, I think we, we sort of make that, we make that known in our findings, I think. Um, but I, I understand the, the, the sort of the, the confusion that could ensue. And perhaps we want to say something to construct an addition on a pre-existing non-conforming structure uh, said structure encroaching on the front and side yard setbacks at 14 Bartlett Road. I think if we drop the part that says um, which encroaches on the front and side yard setbacks, I think that would be because it is a pre-existing non-conforming structure at 14 Bartlett Road. Uh, but I don't think we need to state. That's true because that's a good point because we have already set forth what the nonconformity was at the very beginning of the uh, finding at yeah. the very beginning of the findings yeah i think 
you know, Brian, I think that's a perfect way to, uh, that's a perfect way to uh, clarify it. Okay, so the so sentence- So that it would read, to, oh, yeah. to conduct, okay. construct an addition on a pre-existing non-conforming structure at 14 Bartlett Road, subject to the following conditions. Does that make sense to everybody? It, it does to me. If we just okay, strike the words that are there. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's that's much much cleaner than what I was uh, suggesting, which was getting kind of complicated. And Stu, are you all set well, that, with that? That can stay, uh, Emma. That can stay. Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, oh, no, just I'm doing okay. the highlight. Okay, gotcha. I concur, Mr. Chairman. Okay, and any other uh, proposed changes, Emma? Uh, those were all the ones I received, unless anyone. Okay, any Brian, did you have any no, uh, I'm proposed good. changes? Okay, I'm good. I didn't. I didn't nice have job, any. Um, obviously, by way of you know deliberations, um, you know we did make the finding. We have the finding in here that um, the uh, special permit is not more detrimental uh, than the existing non-conforming structure uh, due to the moderate height increase of nine feet uh, and limiting the uh, special permit uh, to uh, the addition being on the footprint of the existing structure. Uh, and then the uh, conditions that um, we have to make and the findings rather, we have to make in the conditions under uh, section 9.3 uh, with the six uh, findings were all fairly straightforward and we had voiced them at the meeting last week and uh, the decision uh, adopts those. Um, that looks good to me. I think are we ready to uh, are we ready to uh, vote on the decision? Yes. Okay and so is there a, I guess we need a motion to grant the special permit and to adopt the hearing decision. Is that what we need, Emma? She's shaking her head yes, which is good. So which, who wants to make that motion? I make a motion we grant the special permit application as amended. Okay. I second that motion. Okay, I, John Trefethen, vote in favor of granting the special permit. And, I, Brian, uh, oh, no, go ahead. I, Brian Forrestal, vote in favor. I, Stuart Siegel, vote in favor. Very good. Okay. Um, Emma, all three of us will be signing this decision as is our usual um, practice. I don't think there's any need to have just a one signature decision at this point in time, unless someone has uh, a problem with signing it. Uh, when do you think the decision might be available for signing? Um, I think tomorrow the town hall, oh, so the town hall is only open by appointment currently. Um, I will not be in, but I will send out an email um, to loop in Peter. So if anyone would like to come in tomorrow, we can have it ready. You'll just need to let Peter know when you're coming in. And otherwise, uh, you know, Thursday or Friday. So, because it's only open by appointment, you'll just need to give us a heads up on when you're coming. Gotcha. In. Okay. Very so, good. Clarification, Emma. Uh, it, I can make it on Thursday. I'll be away tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Um, but if you could just reply to the email I will be sending after this meeting to let me know what time you'll be showing up, uh, that will serve as an appointment. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Bobolok, uh, congratulations. The special permit has been, um, has been approved. Um, once the decision is signed by uh, the three board members, um, it will be filed with the uh, town clerk. And there is then a 20 day period uh, where someone has the right to appeal the uh, decision uh, but at the end of that 20 day period, um, the decision can be filed with the uh, Registry of Deeds and you will be good to go for applying for your building permit. So thank you very much. 
And thank you all. Good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good night. Thanks. Okay, next item on the agenda is meeting minutes from our January 11th, 2022 meeting. Again, um, Emma sent those out to us for review um, at the end of last week. Um, Emma, were there any uh, suggested changes to the uh, minutes that you distributed? Uh, yes, I have now added um, at the top um, an absent section and added Nathan. Oh, okay. And is that the only uh, section? Yep, the only change, the, rather? That was the okay. only one that I received. Excellent. Um, Stu and Brian, any questions about the minutes? Are you all set with them? Um, I'm good with them. Okay, then perhaps a motion to approve the minutes um, as amended would be in order. So move. And is there I a second? second I, John Drefeathen, vote in favor of approving the minutes as amended. Hi, Brian Forrestal, vote in favor of approving the minutes as amended. Hi, Stuart Siegel, also vote in favor of approving the minutes as amended. Very good. That concludes the meeting minutes item. And number four, staff updates and administrative matters. Um, Emma, any, any updates? Um, the planning department did not receive any applications uh, for the February meeting. Uh, so there will not uh, be a meeting in February unless another item comes up, but um, there won't be any cases in February. Well, as much as I enjoy these Zoom meetings, that won't disappoint me, but um, thank you very much. Uh, I would just like to uh, to point out for everybody, um, Anton Tikamaroff, and again, Anton, I apologize for uh, butchering the pronunciation of your last name. Um, Anton had appeared at the last Zoom meeting expressing an interest in um, becoming an associate member of the ZBA. Uh, and the select board has scheduled uh, him to appear before them at their February 2nd meeting. Uh, typically, they will ask some questions. Uh, I'm going to sign in only because uh, a couple of times that this has been done during Zoom, for some reason, they, have asked, they expect me to be there and say something. So I, I will do that. It will be brief. Uh, and supportive, uh, but um, if all goes according to plan, then um, Anton should be able to join us as a uh, new associate member of the ZBA when we next uh, gather, which sounds like it uh, won't be until uh, March at the, um, at the earliest. How, Anton, do they, and um, how do they check his pulse from, on a Zoom meeting? Well, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Um, and I'm assuming they are still meeting via Zoom. Is that, is that right, Emma? Mark is yeah, shaking his head yes, because yeah, I know he regularly, he regularly attends the meetings as well. So uh, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Um, the, um, the meetings I have spoken at uh, in favor of somebody they were actually there in person. The, the board was meeting in person and I just signed, signed in um, because it, for what little I had to contribute, it didn't seem to make sense to me to get dressed up and drive all the way down to town hall and walk into the, the meeting room only to turn around and come back, uh, which I suppose I shouldn't say that where the select board can hear me, but there you go. Uh, but I think things should go smoothly and we would, uh, we can formally welcome Anton at our next meeting when we have something, something to talk about. Awesome. Looking forward to that. Yep. Anton, any questions? Are you all set or? Okay. Uh, very good. Well, if that is the case, Emma, then nothing further for us to do. We can, um, uh, perhaps entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move we adjourn. I second that motion. I, John Drefeathen, vote in favor. I, Brian Forstall, vote in favor. I, Stuart Siegel, vote in favor. Thank you very much. Mark, thank you. Thank you for joining the meeting tonight. And good night, everybody. Bye bye.